Interesting. So, what do you think of the random match? Uh, you know, it, it's very varying. Uh, there's a wide range of what could happen. Sometimes you'll get Sonic, and so now you end up in the Sonic Bayo matchup, which could be all right. Um, you know, it's going to be difficult for Bayo to try and capture uh, that that blue hedgehog and try and get stuff going because he's just going to try and make a lot of space. But if he's just going to go in like that, uh, going to get some some pretty decent damage on Twisted's side. A lot of damage coming out of here. Uh, it seems like Sonic seems to be doing the right approach. You know, typically, when you think of a random player, you think of like a jack of all trades. Mm -hmm. well, uh, it seems like this uh, random player is really proving it. Playing the uh, matchup pretty spot on. It's That was a nice approach from Ledge, going for the side B into the back air couple space. Unfortunately, not gonna go back as soon as it gets the kill. Conversion off the nair into a back air. Yeah, you're trying to see that a lot. A lot of Sonic's trying to innovate more off of that nair. It comes out so quickly, I believe. Either frame five or frame six. Mm. You're, you're just able to convert off of it so much, especially with the late hit. Like, they're starting to do crazy things where they're doing, like, late hit in air until, like, first hit up her back here, something like that. Insane. Yeah, so Eo doing a pretty good job. Uh... Like I said, you know, keeping away, making it that uh, it's difficult for Bayo to get the setup that she needs to finally get the kill. But uh, gonna, after overextending a little bit, gonna eat and down air, putting him off the top. Uh, still with a full stock lead for e for Eo though. Uh, Twist is gonna have to mix something up uh, to just kind of bring it back to even. This might be a little bit too little, too late, Ooh, nice. but 70 damage is okay. Oh. Nice conversion. Yeah. That was beautiful. Uh, he kind of misses the follow-up there. Probably was expecting Sonic to go more upwards. Alright. Right. Percents neck and neck. Although, however, EO does have that stock in the reserves and is working on this two stock right now. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Barely dodges the forward smash, but it was able to land uh, the back cross up back air right before the forward smash came out, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure if it came out, the back air was not big enough that they would have traded. Anyway, now, finally on the last stock, but 150%. It's going to be a tall order. Twisted's able to turn this around. But I mean, Bale has the tools to, to rack up damage. You know, getting the kill could be tough, but the same can be said about Sonic, uh, depending on as long as you don't overextend. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh -huh. What it comes down to is if Bayo is able to get that, that final hit, because a lot of the time you'll see Bayo's will get that combo, but then as soon as they go for the back here. Yeah. Was that an up tilt? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look. Okay, it goes for the up B. And yep. Yeah, that's that's an <laughs> that's, up that's up tilt. <laughs> All right. So, EO going to be taking game one uh, with random uh, landing on Sonic. Is he going to stick to random? Or actually pick a character? He's not leaving the the, the ring yet. Oh, okay. Uh, we're probably going to see a stage swap, so. Ready? Yep, sticking with the random. So, who are we going to get next? Spring Twisted is still going to go Bayo. Yep. It's gonna be Byleth. So, 
two different sides of the tier list here, going from top tier to something like Yeah. About, about mid tier pilots, low tier. Yeah, so you're gonna be playing. You're know, gonna go from high speed, like push down, to basically just positioning, staying put, throwing out your aerials, making sure you keep your distance. Um, yeah. That's really what it comes down to for Violet. Okay. Things are going a little bit more even. Uh, you, as you said, one could argue it could be the 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 change in tier of character. But you know, there, there's also player adaptation, uh, just player style. No matter what character you're playing, there is a certain like frequency or vibe that that person uh, how they interpret the game. So you know, twisted could be working on that against EO and is now beginning to take a little bit of a percent lead but you know it, it's really going to come down to sealing out that stock which Byleth has more obviously like strong moves like that where he, you can just like put it out um, yeah like sh like Bale kind of does too with her smash attacks but correct me if I'm wrong but aren't they still like peanut priority well huh? it's not going to matter if you don't if you don't have a hitbox out and you're vulnerable, so evening up that yeah. stock. <laughs> nice little conversion. Ooh, nice parry as well. Setting by life off stage, not gonna get much, but gonna reset the neutral game once again. Okay. Good touch traps here. Yes. Okay. That was, a, that was a nice conversion there, getting the up air. Yeah, pretty much the game plan for Byleth here is do a lot of short on rising aerials to cover side plats or cover ledge. And then use tilts or smash attacks to keep their opponent off stage. Mm hmm. That's typically how the game plan works. And then if you know your opponent's pushing forward, that's where you can go for the kill move. So like a rising up air, for example, is like a great way to get a kill if you know they're pushing forward a lot. Yeah. Now, okay. Well, I was oh. going to say that like there's a lot of potential to kind of build a big lead because on Battlefield, but... EO bringing that back even real quick before anything could uh, get a little bit too out of hand. Still at a small deficit of percentages, but like it's not too big of a deal. Uh, especially, again, on a stage like this with such big blast zones. You know, It's until the disparity gets a little bit bigger than where we're at right now uh, where things can get worrisome. Because like, now we have edge guard situations where they can result in death. So now Twisted's in a pretty, pretty good position. Uh, where even if it gets reversed or uh, ends up losing his stage control, uh, isn't in a position to die, unlike EO, who is now almost Ed. on his way to 200, but forward throw is going to do it. How many dev stars do I have? <laughs> Watch the stream. Collect dev stars. Profit. 8.6. I'm trying to reach 20k so I can do the dev and cast to set with voice modulation options. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, guys, if you want to hear me uh, commentate as either the devil or an e-girl, um, 
then cast your channel points, your dev stars. Uh, it's a uh, real silliness. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh man, we're seeing Olimar this time as chosen by the random. So, Olimar is an interesting character to me. So, if I recall correctly, Olimar at the beginning of Ultimate's metagame was like a very good character. Like a very, very good character. Yeah. And and then there's this sort of balance change that hindered him a bit. Could you uh, refresh my memory? It hindered him a bit. They took away his shield. Uh, the poor character could not block, and you just you just smack him for his crimes. Uh, but then later on, they like kind of nerfed his smash attacks and like the way things he could just like kind of kind of spam on your shield. But at least now, they, after fixing that, they gave him his shield back, and now he's just a character. So, yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, after that 7-101 uh, Olimar history refresher, you see right here Olimar and Bayo keeping even. Uh, it seems it tends to be an easy target just because Bayo, of course, has that side B, allowing her to get Olimar within the air and get a lot of her uh, conversions. Yeah. But you will also see uh, Olimar be able to distance himself. I believe that was blue. That could be removed. I'll tell you in a sec. Okay. Um, so yeah, Olimar being able to distance himself, keep out with the Pikmin. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Not spacing appropriately there, going to suffer from that witch hunt and get sent to his demise. Okay. Yeah. They was just scooping yeah. him. Yeah, little taps. Oh. Ooh. Tried to beat the smash attack a little bit earlier to counter it, but both of them just out of sync. Yep. Another through? Yep. Such devastating damage from the fire Pikmin. Oh wow. <laughs> that that down there taking out everybody, the entire army. Uh oh, Eo bouncing off, but able to make it back. Twisted kind of struggling to get this kill here, getting a little bit desperate, and Eo is beginning to capitalize just a little bit on it. But an ill-advised dash attack, Ugh, gonna kind of be the start of a poor string that ends up in his own demise. Um, twisted evening up the stocks, but now at a near 90% deficit. That can be pretty meaningful, especially with how hard that Pikmin hits. Yeah, most certainly. You'll notice a lot when Eo's in like the advantage state. Bayo can kind of just get out, whether it be through Bath Within or whether it be through Horton FB. So you're noticing this applause right here. Now it's getting even more and more mm -hmm. even. Because every time Yo tries to get combo, <gasps> Ooh, he blasted like, him. He's about to get out. And that's it. All right, Twisted uh, clutching it with a pretty pretty large deficit to bring it back. But yeah, good stuff. Let's see that again. In the random matchup, this is kind of how you have to gauge it. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it was uh, at first Eo who ended up getting the first kill here with that blue up throw. Boom. But then, but not too far behind, uh, Twisted was able to even it up because he was just getting a little bit too overzealous and ended up getting countered and all that. And this next one, I think it was 
he overextended and then like eight. I think it was down air. Or I might be no, no, this is just another throw. That wasn't down air. Yeah, it was just yeah. another throw. It was over here. Yeah, the, this dash attack that kind of put everything to like a weird string, and then the air dodge put him in some lag and ended up losing his stock for it. Same trap. Oh, 